So I just did another video and then and Drake did it with me and then he bailed on me so I figured I could do this video. It's one that I, um, gosh, how long ago was it? Three, maybe three years ago? I posted a video about like what I'm going to do with my wedding ring. Yeah, I'm, I'm touching back from a video that long ago because I finally decided. <laughs> it only took me a, a few years to get there but I did and I'm, I'm pretty happy with my decision because it, I mean it wasn't doing, it wasn't doing me any good here. I was never gonna wear it again. There was nothing like sentimental, there were no sentimental reasons for me to save it. You know what I mean? None of it. So um, I, oh my goodness, you guys, I finally, I don't know what finally nipped me in the butt, but, but something did. Maybe it's just the fact that, you know, I'm in a really serious relationship again. And, you know, I, I just don't, it's, it's just kind of like a piece of the past that is just, it does me no good to have so and I could do better things with it much better things and I'm very excited about those better things <laughs> so okay um, that video I talked about I guess I, sh I should have probably watched it before this but I know that I probably I know that I definitely said because this is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time is sell the ring and then use that money to take a trip and just go somewhere fun and enjoy enjoy myself. So I finally got around to taking it to, I went to a few pawn shops, a consignment store, things like that. And it was depressing, super depressing. Um, brace yourselves. <laughs> you might pay like $5,000 and they'll be like, Oh, it's worth 600. And you're just like, what? Like, seriously, that's it. Or, um, 300. Or, oh my gosh, like just some of the prices, I'm just like, seriously? Like, you've got to be kidding me, like that little? <laughs> Sorry, Drake's being really loud. Um, hopefully I pick right back up where I left off. But um, then I decided to look to like Craigslist, which just scared me. I just didn't like the idea or even, um, what's the other one? Like just selling it on Facebook. Like I didn't like the idea of somebody meeting up with me knowing that I had, you know, like you know, valuable stuff on me like that. It's not like, like I always use the example selling a couch. There's a couch I really want to sell in this house. But, um, yeah, it, it, it just, it made me nervous. I didn't yeah, want to do yes. that. I didn't like, um, eBay. <clears throat> He's back. He's back. What do you got? So I didn't want to do anything on eBay because I don't have like the, somewhere in the move me. and in the split. I lost it. Very cool. It's what is a, that? It's an alien. It's an A-wing. All right, I'll be out in a second, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I decided against all that, and then I found. So I was looking more online, and I was like reading reviews and just everything, and then um, found this site worthy.com. And what they do is they do the they basically auction your ring off for you. And based on the reviews and things that I read, it looked like I could get a little bit more. So I tried, I tried it because it's, it doesn't hurt to try. So you ship it off. And I actually took a video of this cause I was nervous. <laughs> I was like, my boyfriend's like, you're doing what? And I'm like, I'm just going to try it. Like it, they're going to grade it for me. And then they'll give me like a, an estimated amount that I'll probably get from it. And then we'll go from there. And I'm like, and if it doesn't work, they'll send it back to me. And he's just like, you're crazy. But I'm like, no, I, I think it'll be, I did a lot of research. <laughs> Like, I think it's gonna be okay. So anyways, I still did record the process like just in case <laughs> But um, yeah, it was completely legit and they they did they Like really held my hand through the whole way like the whole process of it So they're like we need to you know We can get more if we remove it from the setting and we can do this and then we're gonna um, You know, do we have your permission to do that? And if it doesn't you know, if it doesn't turn out the way you want we'll put it back just like normal and um you know, they're, they're like, here's your grading report and they take like really fancy pictures and you have that like official report and which is, is good to have. But, um, yeah, so <laughs> they, you go through that whole entire process and then they auction the ring for you. And then afterwards you can take the money. I just got it today, but you can, and it only took like a day, but you can have them like PayPal you or directly deposit in your account. They may have had a check option. I don't know. I just did like the the deposit. So yeah, um, they gave me, they got me three, let's see, let me think about the average price here. Cause I went to like six places to get an, 
like a quote just because I wanted to obviously like shop around a little bit and see where I could get the biggest bang for my buck. But they got me mm, five, mm, I would say four and a half times what the average was more than any of the more than any of them but like four and a half times more than the average and then they take they take a small fee for like the pictures and the grading report and obviously like you know paying the people who work there and stuff like that but it really still even with that fee re removed it was still twice as much as like the highest offer locally so i'm really happy with it and i'm gonna go on a trip so i don't know I don't know if we'll go, it'll probably be for my boyfriend, but I don't know if we'll go um, sometime next month when the boys are with their dad, like around Christmas time, or if we'll go sometime next spring or what. But I'm using it for like really fun, chill, vacation money, um, trip money, just something. I mean, it wasn't a lot because rings really, the resale is not, it's like buying a car. There's, you pay a lot, but you don't get a lot back. Um, but I thought at least I found a way to get a lot more back, which is why I'm even sharing that with you guys, because I think it's, I think it's important that you know. Um, I've done some research for you, like two days worth. It took so long. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I don't know what we're going to do yet. I'm not sure, but I'm really excited because it's like, it's kind of just like really next, next step. Like that was the last anything. And it didn't have um, a sentimental value. I don't know if I told you, I think I told you guys that the, the band that I had wasn't even the one that I was married with. Um, the one I was married with broke, lost diamonds, it was horrible. And then that was the replacement one that I got was the, the band that I had. So um, yeah, it, it's not like it, you know, it even reminded me of him or our marriage or anything like that. It was just, I just loved the piece. Like I thought it was so beautiful. So to see that go is kind of like, oh, but it's not like I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> Cause it was still something I wore to represent our marriage. And yeah, anyways, kind of a, it was just, it was sad to see it go. It's kind of like, I don't know, like your favorite pair of jeans times a hundred, but you don't, you can't fit into them. You know what I mean? Or some, something like that. But you'll never be able to fit into them again. Type of a deal. So you know you have to get rid of them because it's pointless to keep them. And they're just taking up space and you know you could go on a vacation if you sold them. Yeah. So I'm happy. I'm happy that it's gone and I have that that little cush and I'm looking forward to our adventures with that cushion and so I wanted to follow up. I know it's like a three years later follow up. I'll leave the website that I used, I'll leave that in the description box down below so you can easily check it out. And then um, I'll also leave the video from like however long ago I did it, like wedding rings after divorce or something. I don't know what I titled it as, but I'll leave that down there too. And yeah, like that chapter is like closed, like filed away forever, done deal. Signed off on it. Sayonara. Yeah. There's... A... So there's no valuable jewelry left in the house? <laughs> not that it was that valuable. <laughs> We're not going to be going to like, I don't know, Australia or like anywhere crazy with the money, but um, it'll cover, it'll cover some airfare and a little, uh, maybe a couple nights. My half the hotel. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to put a sweatshirt on. I'm still cold. But...